Hey everyone, welcome back. Got another video for you. This one is a hobby about the uh, new army I'm starting. Um, I've actually started, um, but just more or less peeling back the curtain a little bit. Um, just jump right into it. Um, I'm a, a Allied Italians, the uh, ECI. Um, kind of just the walkthrough on the hows and the whys and the whats. The first is uh, I was looking for, you know, not Soviets. Um, so obviously the Italians at a, a or not Soviets and uh, have a, a bunch of different units and things that I'm not used to. Um, although I did end up still playing the faction that gets a free squad, so I mean, it you know like Soviet adjacent. Um, the like I said, the the new abilities and flights, uh, new units and abilities that I'm not used to. So flight, um, you know, the medium and light walkers, and then all the allied units. So um, whether I want to try the uh, the war dogs or paragon units or stuff, I can I can bring those in. Um, and the last one is if we do any campaigns or anything, um, my ability to keep the core units the same and just switch between Axis and Atal uh, uh, Axis and Allies um, gives me the uh, the ability to kind of you know balance if we are doing a game day or anything like that, um, keeping e uh, numbers even. So what I've done so far. So unfortunately I'm terribly slow at building a Baton. Uh, life and all that came up, but um, I have, as it stands, ready ready now is two parachute firefly squads, a coyote, um, the Tesla Sherman, uh, and I'm in the process of building the Armored Persaglieri HQ. Uh, these are some 3D printed uh, half tracks. Their uh, gun barrels are too big, so I'm, I'm still I'm basically going to trade them out for for smaller uh, ones that look more uh, proportional or correct. Um, and then I have the two, and I'm blocking on the name. Uh, one's a armored car slot; the other is a uh, tank slot. So the idea being is, if I um, switch to Axis, you know these can fill the the cap plus all my regular infantry be able to uh, play as uh, Axis Ita uh, Italians or um, again it just gives me more options for Allied Italians so this is the kind of the stuff I have built some of these I've already deflashed um, arms and heads and all that I just haven't attached them yet um, Just, but I really wanted to get it show you uh, what I've been working on the uh, the mountain of, uh, of shame if you will so another Parachutisti squad, a half track. All of this one likely is going to go. Um, I'll trade it off or give it to somebody. Um, I have been using the War Games Atlantic uh, infantry, and uh, I like them. They 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 size up well to the uh, War Ga Warlord Games medals, and uh, you know there's a bunch of guys in there. So one of the things I will be doing is I uh, I won't be using all of the models uh, out the gate. I'll probably keep a handful back. Um, and give them Panzerfaust that way when I want to switch to um, Axis. They already got those done. Uh, this, this down here is uh, from a separate company. I'll have to dig up the name. But uh, they are um, uh, Bisaglieri on uh, bikes, or motorbikes. So likely, uh, because I'm playing the ECI, one of these, about 10 or 11 of these will be the Conscript Squad. And then likely I'll do the rest as the Bisaglieri. Um, just uh, uh, to kind of keep everything in, in line uh, troop wise I put these down here so these are probably if I do decide to ally in uh, something one of them will probably be a uh, Tesla you know the allied Tesla cannon um, so likely I'll, br I'll bring them in for that but uh, overall yeah so it's really shaping up to be a, um, a pretty decently sized force and uh, one thing is uh, that's a mismatch arm, but I just put it on here so it was a little stumpy. These are some count ads I already put together um, for any Axis players that you know show up and miss one of their walkers. Um, so if I do make a jump to the Axis side for for games or whatever, you know I'll probably use this as a locust walker, and then this will be my um, spin walker. And being an enclosed, I'll uh, I'll convert one of these arms to be the uh, flamethrower, and then the other to um, be the machine gun. So, yep, oh, and uh, yep, actually had some game. Uh, this is part of a uh, 
Escalation League I ran. Uh, I was against some Germans, so yeah, I tried to uh, uh, just try to get them some field testing. Uh, yeah, I was wiped out this one. Um, so, as you notice when I showed all my build stuff, all the uh, a lot of Rift Tech, all that's very expensive. So I didn't really have the bodies. Uh, yeah, he, uh, yeah, he, I think he all but tabled me, if not tabled me. So uh, yeah, but so not the best first outing, um, but you know. We live and learn, right? And then, in, in conclusion, so, yeah, um, I'll probably have, hopefully I'll have some more battles soon. Uh, I'll probably start cycling in the Italians. Um, apologize in advance if uh, anything's unpainted, but I definitely plan on having more progress on that side here very soon. Um, and then also, uh, I'll keep keeping my Soviets, um, so uh, I'll probably start you know, alternating battles between those two or, or using those for the battle reports. Um, I know on the Soviet side, I still need to build my uh, Enemy of the Gates theme list, so I just want to have, you know, as it, uh, even if it never happened, just the, the one man a rifle, another bullet. So I already have about two or three Straff Bat squads to where I have half the guys unarmed um, to, to make that, so uh, we're getting close. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Just want to give you an update, peel behind the curtain on uh, on uh, what's coming coming down the line. And uh, thanks for watching.